Good day, my wonderful and amiable listeners. I bring to you the news. The news headline. Ex-Nigerian governor dragged to international court, international criminal court, plus APC alleged zone presidency to South West. Ex-governor Okorocha dragged to international criminal court. The news in full. A pro-life advocate and neuroscientist, Professor Dr. Phillips Injemazi, petitioned the Inter International Criminal Court, ICC, over the demolition of ancestral AK Uku Oweri Market. Oweri. The medical practitioner had also petitioned UNESCO to lament, lament the demolition of, of heritage and ancestral sites in Oweri by the Okorocha admi administration, now a senator of Imo West. On August 26, 2018, the Imo governor, Rochas Okorocha, had demolished the AK Uku market, pulling down stores and destroying goods worth over 1 billion naira. An 11 year old boy, Som Tochuko Ibeniasi, was killed by the straight bullet from security forces during the demolition of the market, which attracted local and international outreach. Njemanze, a native of Amawom in Amawom in Oweri, who strongly kicked against the demolition of the market held so dear by Oweri people, said he wrote to the International Criminal Court ICC, the Egu, to lament the dastardly and satanic act accomplished with human hands. Njemanze said the demolition of the market by Okoro Charles administration was a crime against humanity. In the letter to Dr. Milford Rosler, Director of Heritage Divination and World Heritage Center, UNESCO and copy to Prosecutor ICC, in Jimanze, under the auspices of Oweri Indigenous People Youth of Amawam, Patri wrote, these actions are crimes against humanity which is under the jurisdiction of the International Criminal Law, ICC, in Den Agu, the Netherlands. The Netherlands. Some of the requests made by Ingeman's led group include an executive presidential order stopping all interference, demolition, removal of historical sites, including the AK Uku Oweri Market, building, art and cultural centers of the indigenous people of Oweri and in Imo State. To mandate UNESCO World Heritage Center investigators in collaboration with the Federal Ministry of Information and Culture to further undercover the fact of the historical sites in Doweri using the indigenous knowledge base for enlistment and protection under the UNESCO World Heritage Convention. According to Injamanze, the ICC in its response to his request said it had taken up an investigation on the matter. Four years after the demolition of the market, Governor Ope Uzodima has embarked, embarked on building the market. And the other news, it says APC zones presidency to southwest and vice president to northeast. The news in full. Decision makers in governing all progressive congress may have agreed on zoning agree arrangements for the big six position in party and government at national le level, Sunday tribunals learned. A dependable party source in Abuja said after initial hiccups, the Southwest is favored to produce the next presidential standard bearer of the party. The Northeast is standard to be listed for the running mate ticket. The Senate presidency and the source is built to return to the southeast while the northwest is scheduled for the speakership slot. The arrangement mirrors what the People Democratic Party PDP as the ruling party in 1999 presented as a governance outlook with Olusegun Obasanjo from the southwest as president, his deputy then, Atiku Abubakar, is from Adamawa in northeast. Now, late Evan in William, the first Senate president, was from the southeast. The disgraced first speaker, Salisu Buhari, is from Kano, northwest. Though a
Enwerim and Buhari were booted out of the office for forgery. The slot remained in the two zone for eight years. Obasanjo and Southwest kept the presidency. The governing party kept the presidency and the, gov the governing party also seemed to have kept faith with the PDP old blueprint in zoning its national chairmanship position in the North Central. National leader of the party, President Muhammad Buhari, has also mentioned his preference for former National State Governor and serving Senator Adamu Abdullahi for the party top job. During eight years of Obasanjo, PDP, the People's Democratic Party, produced four national chairmen from the North Central in, in Solomon La, Banambas Gamande, Audi Ogbe, and Colonel Audu Ali retired. The position of the National Secretary of All Progressive Congress, APC, has also been moved to the South South, following President Muhammadu Buhari endorsement of Adamu, leaders of the party, in order to zone zones reportedly engaged in hide and seek over the national scribe slot. Party big weeks in higher government position were said to have worked tirelessly behind the scenes to ensure that ge geopolitical zone didn't get the top party office in order not, not to have their ambition derailed. Effort to earlier zone, the office of the Southwest reportedly met the stiff resistance following rumors that its acceptance would as affect the consideration of the zone for the presidency. South East also tipped for the office at a point eventually lost it lost its to strong resistance from individuals from the zone seeking higher party general government positions. South East eventually landed the deputy national chairman slot for which President Muhammad Buhari reportedly backing from Senior President Ken Inamani, Northwest major stakeholders also alleged workers against having the national scribe position zone to them. Considering the earlier rumors some individuals from the zone were eyeing the presidency after eight years of President Muhammad Buhari from the zone. The number of four positions in government was eventually yielded to the president's zone. Meanwhile, despite the official recognition granted factions of the party in many state, state chapters being rocked by leadership crisis, those antagonizing the recognized faction are not mellowing. In Lagos, Faudu Oki, the factional chairman of the state chapter, has filed a suit to sack the senator Bola Ahmed Tunubu backed executive. Whether the matter came up on Thursday, March 3, 2021, before the Federal High Court in Abuja, Parties were directed to Justice Okoro World to show appearance in March 16. In originating summons of Faudo Oki versus APC and two others, the plaintiff joined Chief Adebayo Adelabu and the Independent Electoral Commission, INEC, as co-defendant. Co Adelabu, APC's governorship candidate in Oyo State in 2019, was the chairman of the electoral body and conducted the contentious state congress being challenged by Fatoki. Processes have been cited by Sunday Tribune showed evidence of service on INEC and APC.